What is up, party people, and welcome back to my WooCommerce series. My name is Daryl Wilson. Today in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to display your WooCommerce products on your website via shortcode. Did you guys know you guys can display your WooCommerce products with no plugin whatsoever? So I'll be showing you guys how to display your products in a variety of ways in this tutorial. Today in this video, I'll be showing you how to display your products with a specific amount. We'll also be showing you how to display your products with specific columns, and we'll also show you guys other strategies like categories, on sale, and popularity. Okay, so let me walk you guys through how to display WooCommerce products on your e-commerce store. Okay, so I'll be showing you guys how to display products on your homepage, very similar to something like this right here, where you guys can see we have these products and you just can go ahead and add them to the cart, right? So let's go ahead and go to our demo website right here. Now, the first thing that you're gonna have to do is turn on your page builder, right? Duh. Now, if you guys are using Gutenberg or any page builder, this works with all page builders. So it doesn't matter what you're using, you guys can use any builder and still display products on your front page. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do is I wanna find a spot to display my products, right? So I'm gonna scroll down right here and I wanna display it right here in between new arrivals and explore all products. Now, if you guys are using a builder or Gutenberg and there is no shortcode widget, you guys can also use the text editor widgets. So if I take this and I drag it onto the page, you guys can also use this to display products. All you gotta do is click on the text right here and then delete this and then enter all of the short commands right here if you wanna use the text editor. But for most of us, you guys can just use the short code widget. So I'm going to just delete this and I'm going to use the short code widget here. So I'll take short code and I'm gonna drag it onto the page right here. And now you're gonna see that we can enter a short code. So the first thing we need to understand is how many products do I want to display? Well, I want to display eight products. So I'm gonna type in the bracket symbol and we're gonna type in products limit equals quotation eight and then end quotation. Now we need to say, well, okay, we have eight products. How many columns are we gonna display? So I'm gonna type in space, type in columns, equal sign, and then quotation, number four, quotation, and then end bracket. So when I end the bracket, that essentially is like ending the actual formula, right? So now you're gonna see these actually display right away. So we have a total of eight products, right? And now we can use this and adjust this to our liking. So for example, maybe I just want four products, right? I'm sorry, not 34, whoops, my bad. Four products, right? So now we just have four products displaying. So now we can kind of tinker around with this and you know, see where we're at right here. So for example, if I want two columns, right? Now we have two columns and we have a total of four products, right? So uh, we can go ahead and you know, adjust it back to three columns, right? And then maybe six products, right? Or six product limits and so on and so forth, right? So you guys understand, right? So this is how you guys can actually display product limits with columns. So I'm gonna change this back over here to eight and then also four. So now that we understand how to do product limits and columns, maybe you guys wanna add specific product categories on your homepage, right? That kind of makes sense. So maybe like this would be something like vases or uh, new plants or something, and then you can categorize the products on your homepage. So the first thing I wanna do over here is I'll go ahead and backspace and get rid of that just so there's no confusion. And then I'm gonna hit space, type in category equals, and then you're gonna put the name of the actual category. So for this specific website, we have garden decor, home decor, most popular and new arrivals. So you're gonna type in the category of your uh, products in the short code section. So let's go back to our websites. So before we enter the category, you guys need to enter the quotation again. I'll type in home decor. Now remember, this must be exact as your category. So if it's misspelled, it won't display, right? So make sure it is the exact spelling as your category. Here I will put quotation, and now I need to type in the bracket symbol to end the formula. Once that's done, you guys are gonna see that only the products with the home decor will be displayed in this section. Pretty cool, right? Now also, maybe you guys do wanna promote your products that you guys have created first on your homepage. So what I'll do over here is I'm gonna end the bracket again, and we're gonna type in the newest products that are available on our store will be displayed right here. Now really quickly, I'm gonna get rid of the category now. So I'm just gonna get rid of that. And then we're gonna say, all right, I want the newest products displayed on our homepage. So I'm gonna type in space, order equals, and then here we have this, this it's basically a, it's an abbreviation for descending here. So I'm gonna go ahead and type that in. So D-E-S-C, -E quotation, and then end brackets. 
And what that's gonna do is any product that I create first will be displayed right here under the new arrivals because obviously these are new products, so they should be under the new arrival section. Okay, so that is a general rundown of how to display products on your store. Now, you guys can display this on any page that you guys want, right? So you guys can display this on your About Us page or on your contact page or any page that you guys choose so because these short codes are being propagated through WooCommerce. WooCommerce actually does have tons of shortcode commands on their websites. They don't really have that great documentation, right? But they do have a lot of short codes that are very, very unique. So here are the general short codes for like the WooCommerce cart, the checkouts, the my accounts and order tracking. However, if we scroll down, they're gonna start talking about products, right? So you guys can use commands like featured products, sale products, best selling products, recent products. Now there is something I do wanna note, some of these actually won't display any products until products are sold on your website, right? So if you guys do have best selling products and there's no sales on your website, it's going to display nothing. So just keep that in mind when you guys are using these commands. They have tons of them guys, like columns, paginations, um, they have just, you know, you can display by tags and class and so on and so forth. But if we scroll down right here, they'll actually give you guys real good examples. So for example, random sale items, product limit four, commands four, order by popularity, the class quick sale, and then on sale is true. So if you guys do want to display on sale products, you guys need to enter in the true command, right? So let's go ahead and add that one in before we go, right? So I'll go ahead and go back to our website here and we're going to get rid of this and then I'll, I'll press space and then I'll paste in that little short code there, right? And then I'll go ahead and end the symbol. And then you're gonna see that only the on sale products right here will be displayed. So right here, all these products right here are on sale, right? So you guys can go ahead and use this, you know, to uh, you know to help you guys get a better understanding of how to utilize the WooCommerce short codes. I did wish they make it easier for you know beginners and stuff like that because you know short codes they're kind of annoying, they're kind of like techy, you know, and I think people want it more user friendly. But they have tons of short codes available and examples of how to display your products with WooCommerce. If you guys do have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Displaying your products with WooCommerce is actually quite simple, and once you guys get the hang of it, it'll be no problem. Also, if you guys do want to learn how to make an e-commerce website, we have this tutorial in the description that I'll show you guys how to make a really nice e-commerce website in a few hours. My name is Daryl Wilson. Thanks for watching, and I will see all of you party people in the next video, guys. Take care. All right, party people, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys do have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Also, if you guys do wanna learn how to make that amazing e-commerce website, we have that tutorial in the description below this video if you guys do wanna go ahead and check it out. My name is Daryl Wilson, and I will see all of you party people in the next video, guys. Take care.